I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. We are kicking off the week with a mega merger Monday in the mining sector. Yes, a lot of alliteration, but the deal's worth $10 billion involving Vancouver's Gold Corp. It's being bought out by Denver, Colorado-based Newmont Mining. Now, this is going to create the world's biggest gold mining company. They've got about 4,000 employees here in Canada, and the combination will leapfrog the size of Barrick Gold, which just three months ago bought Rand Gold Resources in what at that time was a $5.5 billion deal. So mergers and acquisitions, the name of the game in the gold sector right now. As uh, companies consolidate, we've seen a little bit of a rebound for the precious metal itself. These companies say the new Newmont Gold Corp headquarters in Vancouver. It'll be a regional office, but uh, overseeing the Canadian and U.S. operations. What happens when a public utility files for bankruptcy? We're going to find out when PG&E of California Electric Utility is uh, going that route. They are filing under the weight of potentially $30 billion in liability claims if they're found guilty of starting some of those California wildfires over the past couple of years. Now, uh, PG&E might be taken over by the California government. The stock price today fell by more than 50%, and a bankruptcy filing is expected within days. Leaping Lululemon, the Vancouver-based company, put out its sales forecast or results for the fourth quarter, the holiday sales, which came in above expectations. A good number for Lululemon, and it shows strength in the higher-end consumer segment. After uh, being initially a little bit cautious about its results, uh, the forecast today sent the stock up by 8% in New York trading. It does not have a Toronto Stock Exchange listing. Crocs, they're not just for summertime wear anymore. The uh, rubber shoe company has diversified its portfolio of offerings now into winter boot styles as well. This has resulted in strong sales for this company, which is today a odd stock price up by 1% in Wall Street trade. And the maker of Canada Dry is dropping the made from real ginger tag on its ginger ale. Keurig, Dr. Pepper has settled a class action lawsuit in the United States where it's going to pay out some cash to consumers after a New York State woman filed a, a lawsuit against the company on allegations of, well, false advertising on the concern that there is actually a minuscule amount of actual ginger in Canada Dry ginger ale. The class action lawsuit is not applicable here in Canada. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.